welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW AKA Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Wednesday, so it's another what I eat in a day. I'm going to share with you all of my food throughout the day today, a really, really good dinner recipe, and of course, Diesel and Lola, and a little bit of fun along the way as well. So if you're excited for today's video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps support my channel. And of course, if you're new or not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that little subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I upload. I do a what I eat in a day every Wednesday, so you don't wanna miss out. Make sure you are checking out that description box down below the video where you're going to find my website for tonight's dinner recipe. You'll also find my nutrition coaching website where I offer personalized tailored to you macros and calorie calculation as well as 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. You'll also find links and discount codes for what I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things. And last but not least, in the description box is the link to head over and join my community on Facebook. We would absolutely love to have you. So, without further ado, we have a what I eat in a day. To leave it all behind Should I change my mind? You say you can make it right By asking me to stay Baby, but clearly So here's my breakfast. It's not the prettiest in the world, but it's going to be so good. So what I did is make a scramble of sorts. So I have one half of a cup of egg whites. I have one and a half cups of Orita O'Brien hash brown potatoes. They were left over from my husband's lunches. He had breakfast burritos this week. So I just fried those up with one of the Sam's Choice chicken apple sausages. You guys know that I love these. These are so incredibly delicious. It's only two points per link and they're nice clean ingredients. I picked those up at Walmart. And then I topped it with one point worth of just this grated Parmesan cheese. So my breakfast is two points for the sausage, three points for the hash browns, one point for the cheese. So this is only six points, this whole plate. And this is a dinner sized plate. This should be nice and filling and full of protein. And Perfect Foods is here. As you guys know, I get this twice a month or every two weeks. I love Imperfect Foods. This is a stellar haul. It is jam-packed full, super, super heavy. Look at all of that goodness. So let's pull everything out and see what I picked up for the next couple weeks. So first I have some organic raspberries. These were actually a really good price. One thing about Imperfect Foods is it's less expensive than the grocery store and you help prevent food waste. So this is all food that would get thrown away or wasted and we have the option to buy it at a really good price. So I love it, I love the cause. Everything I get is wonderful, nothing is spoiled. It's a pretty incredible service. So I did get some organic raspberries, some green beans. I just thought that fresh green beans would be really good one night for dinner. And just so you know, all of my produce is always organic. So I have two mangoes because I thought Mangoes would just be a nice change of pace when it comes to fruits for the week. And then of course, three lemons for my water. And the lemons do come three to in order. So I usually always will just pick up three lemons. And then I grabbed a couple of zucchinis because we love zucchinis in this house. And these will be nice to saute up. Also a salad kit. So you guys know I picked up the salad kit the last order and it was so good. This one's different though. This is the Steakhouse Wedge Chopped Salad. So it's romaine, shredded broccoli, red cabbage, savoy cabbage, green onions, carrots, crispy onions, uncured bacon, and steakhouse seasoning with creamy blue cheese dressing. So yum. So we'll have that for dinner. I also saw these and had to get them. How fun are these? Rainbow carrot chips. So I like to use carrot chips in place of crackers or chips for dip. You guys know I love the La Terrafina dip, and this is a really good way to save calories and points and just use carrots to dip instead. So I grabbed those. 
lots of organic potatoes. Again, you just can't beat the price. So I think I selected two pounds. Everything's by the pound when it's bulk like this. So I believe that I did two pounds of the potatoes. And then you can see some limes here. I have three of those. So what I like to do is have limes and fresh lemon in my water. I mean, these, this is beautiful produce. Nothing imperfect about it. And then I decided to get a cantaloupe before they were completely out of season. So my fruits for the week will be raspberries, cantaloupe, and mangoes. And then you guys know we love this bread. We buy this all the time. The Essential Baking Take and Bake Garlic Bread. We're having some friends over in a couple weeks for pizza night, so I wanted garlic bread for that. And then I got these. So a little splurge, these nutty toffee morsels. So it says, Milk chocolate cover toffee chunks with almonds. These sound so good. So I had to get those just as a fun little holiday splurge. And then Spindrift, they actually had two kinds of Spindrift that I've never seen before. I guess one kind I haven't seen before. I have purchased the pineapple before, it's so good. Spindrift is the only sparkling water that doesn't have natural flavor. So it's actually flavored with real fruit. So this one says, we squeezed a quarter of a real pineapple and then this one is a festive cranberry raspberry so we squeezed 14 real cranberries and 48 raspberries for the flavoring in the spindrift so i picked those up they were actually about a dollar less per eight pack than the store and then i also picked these up for troy's lunch these are fruit strips so basically this is fruit leather an apple and raspberry an apple and apricot so i thought that he would like those in his lunch and then I also picked up a couple of beverages that were new. So this is Jasmine Green Tea Unsweetened. So it's zero calories, zero point. All my really cold stuff is in this bag over ice. So everything is freezing cold still. And then this is another green tea as well. So just two different brands of green tea. And then I couldn't pass up the Vital Farms Pasture Raised Hard Boiled Eggs. Again, make my life easy and just have hard boiled eggs on hand. I actually picked up two of this green tea in one of this one and last but certainly not least is a pack of bel giazio provolone cheese so look at this haul you guys i again love imperfect foods it's a great way to save on waste and what's even better is it's more affordable than the grocery store and there's a link down below where you'll actually get ten dollars off your first box and there's no minimum order so you can just take your ten dollars pay a small shipping fee and get ten dollars worth of groceries and support an amazing company I am meal prepping and I'm going to have the other half of this bottle of the GT Synergy Living in Gratitude Fall Edition. I love this kombucha and it's probably going away soon. This one actually has apple, turmeric, carrot, and spices. So I count one smart point for half of a bottle. I am going to have some cottage cheese here in a little bit. I'm just not quite hungry for it yet. So kombucha to tide me over. Hey guys, I wanted to hop on really quick and take some supplements that I've been loving. You guys know I love my greens from my adventure to fit, but I've actually been taking a second supplement every single day. Sometimes I take one a day, sometimes I take two. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling that day. This is Groovy Nutrition's Calm Support with Ashwagandha. What this is, oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is amazing. It helps with anxiety, it helps with stress, and as we know, in the state of our world, it's stressful and we're anxious and we never really know what's happening day to day. So this is really helpful for helping calm you down. This is also great to take before you go to bed. Like I said, sometimes I take one a day, sometimes I take two. If I'm feeling really overly anxious, stressed i'll take two today i'm doing really well i don't have suffer from a lot of anxiety and stress anyways i balance pretty well but this is just a great supplement especially if you are someone that does suffer with a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety here is what the pill looks like this is the size of it and i generally take this if i'm taking two i take one after breakfast and one after dinner so i'm gonna go ahead and take this now they have another supplement and I'll put that here on the screen for you guys. I will also list all of the benefits for the Calm Support here on the screen as well. This is just a great, great supplement. Again, stress, anxiety, 2020, it's a great supplement for that and it's super, super affordable. They're a newer small business startup company, so they're great, great, great to support. So I'll link this down below for you guys. You can pick it up off Amazon, but yeah. I'm loving the groovy nutrition. And again, you can't beat the price. Next up are my greens. You know I take the My Adventure to Fit greens every single day. This is just a super quick, easy way to get in your greens for the day. I do pretty 
pretty well with greens, but I do like to supplement this, especially on days that I'm not sure that I'll get as many greens as I want. You can mix this with water. You can pop this in a smoothie or a protein shake, or you can dry scoop it, which is generally what I do. So you'll need the greens and you'll need some water. And I'll show you guys kind of how I take them dry scooping. Be mindful about dry scooping. Make sure that you practice and that you're comfortable with it because you're literally putting the powder in your mouth and then taking in some water. So make sure you're not choking or, or causing distress when you do that. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and fill up the scoop and then I take a sip of water, add my greens. It tastes really good, kind of like sour candy. And again, pop it in a protein shake, a smoothie, dry scoop it, drink it with some water. A really good way to get in your greens. I also take their pre-workout, as you know, and their calcium, magnesium, or CalMag, which I like to take before bed. It just helps me sleep better. So check them out. Another small business to support. Currently happening. This dog, no wonder he stinks. He just comes out here and he rolls in the grass and he stretches out and then he just lays in the grass. Look at him. What you doing, pretty girl? What you doing? So I ended up not having cottage cheese. I got sidetracked and busy and wasn't very hungry. So I'm going to have lunch now. It is about noon. This is the buffalo chicken sweet potato. I made a meal prep last week. This is my last one. You guys, this is incredible. If you love buffalo chicken, sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh, this is so, so, so good. So I'm going to have that. And then I have just some organic raspberries. And this is my last water of the day. And good news. A gallon is already gone and it's only noon. So this is my lunch. I'll put points, calories, and everything here on the screen. Look what's in this box. Yes, my friends, it's a Christmas tree for my office. The only way I was able to have a second Christmas tree in my house was if I put it in my office. So we are actually going to put this together. I'll show you guys kind of what I'm doing for ornaments. Oh, someone's quite interested. Some buddies are quite interested. And then let me show you the topper really quick. So I picked up this cute snowflake topper and I think that's just gonna go really well with the flocked tree. I don't wanna give too much away, but here is a little sneak peek at the tree in my office. I'll be doing a complete Christmas home tour but you guys, I'm loving my little tree for the office. I'm getting ready for my Zoom call. I wanted to hop on really quick and say hi. Show my face again, but we are having our monthly Zoom call for my holiday challenge. Basically, it's a 90-day challenge for the last 90 days of 2020. But the reason I wanted to let you guys know is I am going to be doing a New Year's challenge group, like a special group that you pay to be part of. We do giveaways, Zoom calls, all the things starting the first of the year. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, go join because that's how you're gonna find out about the challenge. I can't wait, I'm already buying stuff to give away. I can't wait. And also we're doing a Christmas card exchange. So lots of reasons to join my Facebook group, but I'm in my office just getting set up. My, my call is in about 10 minutes or so. One hour later. So I'm gonna have an afternoon snack and I'm just gonna have a built bar. This is the peanut butter brownie. You guys, I'm just not very hungry today. I, I actually could probably skip this all together. I'm just afraid that I'll get too hungry before dinner and I don't want to overdo it at dinner. So the built bar will at least help me make it through points are on the screen and calories. I do have 10% off and free shipping. It's a lifetime code. You can use it over and over again with built bar. I'll put that down below for you guys as well, but I don't know what the deal is. Well, just sometimes I'm just not very hungry. I didn't work out today. That may be why yesterday was my high calorie day. That may be why I'm telling you, our bodies and our appetites do really weird things. So I'm just gonna have this as an afternoon snack, kind of just in case. For dinner tonight, I'm making a really delicious recipe. It is steak bites with sweet potatoes and peppers. And then I'm also going to roast up some butternut squash and zucchini in the oven because butternut squash is back at Trader Joe's and I love it. So we're gonna have that as an extra bonus of veggie. So let me show you what's in our recipe. We need some minced garlic two bell peppers, green onions, salt and pepper, sweet potatoes, oil, and some steak. Now my steak is flat iron steak, and this is actually from my butcher box. So this is grass fed, grass finished steak. You guys, if you love red meat, the butcher box is top notch. I don't know how they do it, but their meat is so much better. It's so juicy and tender no matter how you cook it. 
I love the butcher box because everything's grass fed, grass finished. You can also buy poultry, but I generally pick red meat because it's really expensive where I live and it is just so good through the butcher box. So I'll link it down below with $30 off if you guys are interested, but love me some butcher box. And then, like I said, I'm going to roast up some butternut squash cubes. This is from Trader Joe's. I'm so excited this is back. And this big container was like $5 and cutting butternut squash is not fun. So I was really excited that they had these cubes. And then a couple of org organic zucchinis from my Imperfect Foods box. Again, Imperfect Foods is listed down below as well for you guys. So let's make some dinner. We need to chop. We have lots of chopping to do. I'm going to start with veggies, my bell peppers, my sweet potatoes, my green onions, and my zucchini. And then we'll go ahead and cut up the steak as well. So the first step is to take your sweet potatoes, go ahead and add just a little bit of salt, cover it with a plate and throw it in the microwave for four to six minutes, just long enough that you can pierce the potatoes with a fork. On a sheet pan, I went ahead and sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. I'm going to add my zucchini and I'm also going to add my squash and then we'll season this up, add a little bit of oil and get this roasting in the oven at 425. To the zucchini and squash, I'm going to drizzle over one tablespoon of oil, and then I always use my hands to kind of mix it all together, but I wanna season it first. So I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of pepper, and then instead of salt, I'm going to do garlic salt, just because I think that'll add a nice flavor to the veggies. And then lastly, the star of the show is the Dax Green Zest. Now this is so good. It is spices, dehydrated onion, dehydrated garlic and lemon peel. So this is one of my favorite seasonings to add to vegetables. Dax is no salt, no MSG, all nice clean ingredients. I love them, they're a small company. I literally have every single one of their seasonings because I love them so much. They're great if you watch your salt, great before weigh-in. So I will link them down below with 10% off. And they also offer free shipping as well. So head on over, pick up some seasonings. If you eat a lot of vegetables, definitely get the green zest. Their pumpkin pie spice literally cannot be beat. It's the best. I love the taco night, the Italian blast, the original red. You really just can't go wrong with any of them. So definitely head on over and check out Dax. So I'm gonna get this in the oven at 425. Sweet potatoes are out of the microwave. They are nice and soft. So I've added one tablespoon of oil to a large skillet. I'm going to turn that on to medium high heat. Let that warm up. To the oil, we are going to add our steak and we are going to cook it until it's nice and brown. And then we're going to remove it and set it aside so we can cook up our potatoes and our veggies. I also added in a big, huge scoop of minced garlic as well to cook with the steak. So my steak is cooked most of the way through. So I'm going to remove it from the pan. Make sure you leave any juices and oil in the pan because we are going to add in our sweet potatoes. So to the leftover juices and oil, we're going to pop in the sweet potatoes and we just wanna let these cook until they're nice and brown and crispy. Next, we will add in the bell peppers and the green onions. Let that cook down and then we'll add back in the steak as well as a little bit of soy sauce. I added back in the steak and then two tablespoons of soy sauce or in my case, coconut aminos. I forgot to show you guys this, I think in the beginning, but you do need some soy sauce as well. Add that in, stir together and let cook for about five minutes. All right, here's dinner. Doesn't this look absolutely delicious? This whole pan only makes four servings. So let me plate this up with some zucchini and some butternut squash 
and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here is dinner. This looks so good. I have some of the zucchini and butternut squash. There's still tons and tons of that left. That is one point just for the oil that was used. And then the steak bites with sweet potatoes and peppers divided into four servings is eight smart points on the blue and green plan and only six on purple because you don't have to count for the sweet potatoes. So this dinner is nine smart points. So this is my dessert tonight. It is one of my cinnamon rolls, my Cinnabon dupes that I made in my meal prep. You guys have to make these. They are absolutely incredible. It is six smart points for dessert and that will round out my day. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you had fun coming along with me today and check out my website down in the description box to recreate tonight's dinner. It was so good. Also in that description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching website, links and discount codes to what I shared with you today, as well as all of my other favorite things and my Facebook group. Head on over. We'd love to have you. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really supports my channel. And lastly, subscribe, hit the bell next to it. So you're notified whenever I upload. Don't miss a Wednesday or what I eat in a day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Wednesday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.